Hey guys. Okay, so we're kind of in the middle of doing all of this. A really fun event. I'm really excited about it. So much so that I want to message every single person. <laughs> Sorry, I have to fix my eyeshadow. Um, in my customer base, <laughs> look, I think I think this is such a um, what's it called? I'm trying to think of the word. Just something that we can really do to serve. Yes, it serves a lot of people. So it is a foundation. We're we calling it flawless face, kind of clinic or whatever. <coughs> I'm calling it a clinic. So I want to do a quick foundation matching on it. But I think this is in general a great training just to keep here on our YouTube group. Huh. So I'm just gonna show you this. Here's a foundation kit. If we're doing a like a flawless face, we decided that having foundation primer to then put CC cream and matte foundation on. And, and someone might choose to just like CC cream, how that looks by itself. Or they might like uh, Lori Hogg Makeup Artist suggestion to put matte foundation on top of that. So we're gonna give them a lot of things that they can choose. Then they get a powder. I'm trying to find a completed one. <laughs> Let's see. Translucent powder. Okay, so I think I just have some pre ones already made up. I thought I had them. Yay, okay. So, anyways, they get a powder. And based on their answer to a couple questions that we send them, if they want light coverage or full coverage, then they can get translucent powder or mineral powder foundation to like add another layer of some coverage. And then we're doing hazelnut eyeshadow. So, I have mine in front of me, but I don't even know that. Uh, they can, after they do their face, they can contour with it. They can do it as a mid-tone and even fill in their eyebrows with it. So we thought that'd be really neat. Really, with those products that we're showing, they could just add some mascara and lip gloss and have a legitimate, beautiful skin dash out the door look with that. We're not including, just so you know, for just for money's sake, uh, it's a, a 75 cent stamp to put those samples pretty flat. Here's the hazelnut. Pretty flat, you know, in an envelope, 75 cents. If you add something lumpy or thick like a mascara, then it can really take it up to a small package, so like three bucks. So we're just gonna do it fun and lighthearted like this. And and I hope to do many more. If you guys love this, we'll just go ahead and put it on the table. I don't, I think even just every three months might be good. You guys can um, maybe tell me, tell me your vote on doing that. I think I would definitely have the need for it. And given a little bit more time, I could invite a lot more people, just personally, Facebook Messenger or something, more people into it that, that maybe I haven't foundation matched in a long time or ever. So, Here's a quick training on foundation matching. There is a really great link and it should be pinned to the top of our team page right now. Um, and it might be something that I'll pin forever. I'm trying to see if I should do that right now. Where's my phone? <laughs> I might pin it forever to the top of our page. There's a post for new consultants where I kind of just in the comments keep adding <laughs> all of the really amazing things that I think we should keep forever. That's so weird. I lost my phone. Probably a good thing. Um, so we, I can pin it there if it's not already there. Sometimes if it's something great, I already pin it there naturally. Um, but it's just, a, it's from the Mary Kay website. It's a foundation. It's not the foundation finder tool. It's in your kit. By the way, throw that one away. Sorry if anybody from corporate is watching this. I, when it first came out, I matched the one that comes in our kit to my skin and I wore the wrong color, a yellow or a neutral undertone for probably like three years. And then I learned you're supposed to ask if they pink and then tan or just burn or just tan. And that tells you if they burn, they're warm or olive. Or if they just, sorry, if they tan, they, they're warm or olive. If they burn, they're a pink or cool undertone. And if they kind of do both, and they're a yellow or neutral undertone. So, <clears throat> by the way, write this down. When in doubt, go with neutral. If your neutral works in such a way that it really could work on everybody. Back to the Mary Kay story, I, I really am warm. So really a better color for me is, is a warmer olive color 
And so then I was, I've ever, after that, I was just told everybody, throw yours away. <laughs> just throw that, throw that thing away. Okay, I did find it really quick. Let me, I'm going to go ahead and post really quick so I don't forget. So on our Sweet Believers team page, I'm going to go to the pinned post, the very, very bottom pinned post. I keep all the relevant stuff pinned to the top of the page if you ever want to find things quickly with all the stuff that's going on. It looks like this. It says, this is a pinned post. It has our Christmas strategy workbook and consultant new steps. And it kind of has, I think, the orientation video. Uh, orientate, yep, has an orientation video there. So I put the quiz there. So what I'm doing, and, and they really haven't been wrong yet, um, is putting Mary Kay's quiz to the person. And then I'm asking them, hey, do you want like really full coverage or just kind of normal coverage? And a lot of people will say maybe just a natural coverage. And then when we do the clinic, we can, as we show each product, let them know, um, you know, you might just like CC cream with minerals on top. Maybe try that on half your face. If you want to tonight, you might like CC matte and minerals. Maybe try all that. You might just like CC cream with translucent on top, you know? So, um, anyways, I wish I gave everybody translucent in the future. I think I might give everybody translucent and then maybe minerals if they need extra coverage. Sorry, smoothie. So let me just tell you guys, oh yeah, so throw away the one that comes in your kit, only because it just doesn't quite, to me, when you put it up to your skin, it's supposed to go away, and sometimes it picks too light of a color for me, or it's just kind of weird. I need to put my glasses on. Okay. So neutral, if you just can't figure out, just when in doubt, Lori Hogg said about neutral, the, the foundations with the letter N in it that in general, the neutral ones are just more forgiving. So when in doubt, do a neutral one. Um, a couple things. When you ask someone that question, if they're, um, if they pink and then tan, which is neutral, just burn, cool, or just tan, warm. And uh, I'm using the old terms, olive and pink, but, but now we have a W equals warm. They tan easily, if you want to write that down. An N means neutral. They pink and then tan. Cool. A C is C is for cool in our foundation. That's part of the number. Is for cool. They burn easily. Once you know that, it's pretty simple. Ivory has only one cool color, I think. Two. Ivory C100 and Ivory C110. If she's pretty pale little bit paler than me, um, then she is ivory. And if she's, if she burns easy, then she's cool. It's one or two, one or two colors. Okay. Um, ivory W and, um, write this down about the W girls. We get really pale in the winter and really dark in the summer. So we're probably the only ones that will have two or three shades throughout the year. I really, just have two. I don't do a ton of sun now, but I could get really dark because I tan easy some warm. Warm girls, I would only have Ivory W130 and Ivory W150. So she's really pale. You'd go Ivory 130. Otherwise, she's Ivory 150 in the winter, probably. <laughs> um, not really. Uh, I am. I'm. I am. I just switched to beige W100. I just popped up one. So so yeah, I would use the foundation finder like quiz to find out exactly where you should start her because it asks her, are you kind of tan or not? I'd look at their Facebook pictures too, to see just how pale they are. And and I'm just pretty black and white. I'm like, she's real pale. She's kind of pale. She's, she's tan, you know, or whatever. Um, so I don't want to make it like so simple, but it's kind of really simple. <laughs> and I think I need to start doing this in the new consultant packets, but there's a conversion chart I have, I think, an old one in our in the new consultant packet, so I just have the idea to do the new one soon. Let me write that down. New conversion chart in new consultant packet. I like. Um, but it's really that simple. It really is. Um, use the quiz for Mary Kay, because that's going to ask them their undertone and 
how light or pale they are and give you a color that so far hasn't been wrong. But you can do that yourself. I want you to know that. And you'll get more comfortable because write this down. These are the main colors. Ivory C110. Ivory W150. Ivory N160. Those are the only ones I put people in an ivory. And if they happen to be really pale, then you just go down one. Okay? But those three. And then next, sorry, let me see if it's really important. I'm just going to call, but let me just make sure it's Stephanie. Sorry. It was kind of important. I'm sensitive. Okay. Now, yeah. And then for beige, you've got beige W100. And they go, by the way, W100. W, oh, C110, that's a, an important one, but they go in order, 100, 110, 120, 131, okay, so you, you, you would need, if you want to go ahead and get some samples, and I'm mailing them for two bucks, all the samples plus the, plus the stamp for you guys, if you want to get them from me, unless you have earned them free, I do lots of free samples from me, you, so you just need ivory, need ivory, C110, Ivory W150, Ivory N160, and then you need Beige W100, Beige C110, Beige N150 is a really big one, like a unicorn one that can work on a lot of people, and then Beige W160, us olive girls, you're going to want to have for us the 150 bay ivory and ivory w150 beige w100 beige w160 and beige w180 you're going to want to have those for us those are like i have two or three of each one of those colors because they're my most popular um you probably want to have bronze w110 it sounds weird but anybody who tans easily um that's one shade darker than beige W180. And beige W180 is like a really tan or a semi-tan Hispanic girl that might tan really easily. Then one more color. Just remember that beige C, beige C220. So I've got the girls that are beige that have some pink in their skin, they burn easily. They're a beige C110 or a beige C220. So if that makes sense, you have to do it quite a bit. And that's why I think this foundation clinic might be important for us to do every three months. You can get all the practice in of matching women. And I think that is such a great, um, yeah, service that we can give other people. So I hope that's helpful for a little bit. That's all my brain is holding on to. Tell me about your skin. Do you tan easy, burn easy? And then, really, let me tell you this, matte is good for everybody. Uh, when these just came out like three years ago, uh, they didn't come out with the Luminous yet because it was the end of our seminar year and they didn't have the Bronze Luminous. And some of the teams that are predominantly, um, you know, African-American ebony skin were like, hey, that's not fair. If you sell Luminous, but you don't have our colors, that'll... That might sway, you know, our, our, our courts and our sales, you know, and, and give someone else a opportunity, especially you launch a new product, you know? So, um, so they just launched matte and a lot of people that were dry were able to wear matte when before the dry girls had to wear the luminous one because of oil absorbing spheres in the matte one that might make them feel dry. The matte one does not make people feel dry. So don't feel bad just getting matte colors and matte samples to start. Um, you know, if you want to get some to sell and samples, oh, I'll also show you. I've got samples of CC creams in this bag, plus the full size ones if I want to squirt them. I've got my Luminous and I've got my Matte. And I've got more Matte. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, and I've got more Matte. <laughs> I don't know what all this is. Oh, bronze colors. I've got these little sporty bags. I'm just like double bagging them. And then. When they first came out, I kind of learned this as a director from Christy Bigham. They still have these little foundation cases. I think they're so cool. But Christy has always bought full size lipsticks, 
lip glosses, samples of everything, because it's so much cheaper, really, in the long run, instead of spending 30 cents to two bucks, depending on if it's skincare, on a sample, you can buy the full-size one and squirt it. Um, so, so I've always just carried, in general, the full size of most things. Um, so I've got luminous in one, bronze in one, and uh, ivory beige matte in the other one. So anyways, I hope that helps a little bit with timing for that in preparation for this event that I'm sure we will do a bunch of times if you guys would maybe vote um, and Melissa helped come up with this event on, on which, how often we should do it. Okay. Bye guys.